Hello everyone, welcome to Picking Saturday. It is indeed Picking Saturday. Uh, this is the day when Jesus was picking his ass. Um, in between this sort of death and rebirth, I think is sort of vaguely what was going on. Yeah, so I've just nipped to the shops to get some eggs because I'm going to be baking. So we'll be baking in this vlog. I don't think I'm going to do it today. I've already, we sort of had a jam-packed morning where I wasn't filming. Went to Sainsbury's to get a few bits uh, and I've just been fart arsing around the house and whatnot. Doing a few chores, doing a little bit of video editing and that sort of thing. It's been a good picking Saturday. Here we are. Can you see that? Where God is love? Not sure. Let's try and get it in. Disrespectful to Christ for a start, isn't it? Where, what's it say? Where God is there. Where God is, there is love, maybe? I don't know exactly what it means, but yeah, good. Well done. Maybe if he was a bit less lazy on picking Saturday, you know, maybe we'd have less famine and racism. Racist. Other, you know, xenophobia. I think there'd be less hate in the world. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it's been a good picking Saturday so far. This will be a full Easter vlog though. Um, very happy though, I've just been to the shop as I said. And I'm, I'm sort of walking cack handedly because I've got some fizzy drinks in my uh, bag. And I'll show you what they are, I hope they're probably just showing them on screen actually. Yeah, really happy to have found these Slush Puppy drinks because as far as I was aware they're only in Asda at the moment. And only in like two litre bottles. So I'm absolutely chuffed to find little bottles of them. So I'm probably going to review those. Although I've been getting some dodgy comments on the channel recently. Ah, uh, you're doing too many drink reviews. It's like, chill out. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this intro uh, where I've been walking out and about. Let's go back into the house. I also picked up this Raspberry and Mango Boost Sport, just because that sounded like an interesting flavour combination as well. So let's get them in the fridge and have a fun picking Saturday. Well, I just think that's quite... Oh, you're vlogging. Okay. <laughs> So this is turning into somewhat of a haul video almost now. Uh, do you want to feel old, guys? Uh, this will make you feel old. Uh, it nearly happened. It nearly happened. Want to feel old, guys? Yeah, Meteora is 20 years old. Um, so they've just released this 20-year uh, anniversary. Just literally got like three discs and loads of like unheard sort of Linkin Park. Oh, or I think it's unheard. I don't know if it's unheard or just rare, sort of lesser heard. But there's loads of content in here, so I bought this. Really excited to give this a listen. Um, only really listen to CDs in the car though, which is cool. But that's fine. We'll uh, yeah, we'll, I'm sure we'll go driving somewhere sometime soon. So I got that. Super exciting. Very much a magical picking. This did arrive today, by the way, as well. So this is a magical picking Saturday. Even more magical than that is my new comics arrived. I did pay extra to have them like sent sort of with priority, but I didn't know if they were going to arrive in time for the Easter holiday weekend. So I got Spider-Man to read. Uh, it's been like middling. Some parts have been this new run. Sorry. No, I just. Gosh, you're making a lot of noise. I'm trying to do stuff. Uh, so am I mate. This picking Saturday's gone to b So I was saying guys, this run by Zeb Wells. I've actually really liked one of or two of the story arcs, but we're on issue 23 now and uh, it's been, been very middling. The other series, I have to say, Spider-Man by, by Dan Slott. Now Dan Slott is genuinely one of the best writers of Spider-Man of all time. I'm really like... It, it, I, it pains me to say this, it really does. This is the worst, certainly the worst um, Spider-Man by Dan Slott I've ever read. It's it's significantly lower in quality than his, than his just his normal run. This is just like a new series that has started. Uh, I also just inherently dislike it when, um, uh, when two comics run alongside each other of the same character. Because you've got this storyline happening in this book, and then this storyline happening in this book, but the series are coming out concurrently over the course of what? This is issue, I've got four, five, six, seven here. So over the course of six months, and over the course of however long. And you just don't know where, what's going on. They're both, they're both in continuity. So, <laughs> yeah, so one storyline has concluded before the other starts, but you don't know which or in what order, or none of it makes sense. They have to write... 
like they have to write and put in justifications for why things are certain ways and it's all just anyway this has been weak however I am somewhat excited to read the latest issue which I've got here this this is this is really to be honest this is the main issue why I paid the extra delivery charge to get this sent early because I wanted to read this as soon as possible because this issue is actually shot up in price already I'm fortunate because I subscribe so I just got it for normal price but this is issue 7 uh, this is about 16 to 17 pounds now if you want to buy the variant cover it's even more because uh, there's this brand new character called Spider Boy who's been introduced in this issue. Uh, I don't know anything whatsoever about him. Uh, so much so that, as you can see, I'm like four issues behind on this book. Because, as I said, I wasn't enjoying it. Um, I was going to read them eventually. But anyway, now that this has arrived, I'm going to read them all now, I think. Um, but very interested to see who Spider Boy is and what his whole deal is. But it's, it's always really exciting when a, when a comic goes up in, in value. Because now... Uh, like this probably this may well drop in value especially if Sp spider boy turns out to be disappointing for everyone however i mean this cover is is also just absolutely fantastic as well but it just means that this issue will has sort of pinned itself in history now as the debut of spider boy especially if you know they're they're even a fraction as as popular as miles morales uh, we of course it's very unlikely he would be um but we'll have to see i'm very intrigued to see just what it's all about um, so yeah, that is my little mini haul. So anyway guys, my friends have been playing Vampire Survivors, um, so I bought it on Xbox for £3.99, which I thought was quite a good price. Uh, yeah, it's an absolutely mental game. I'll, shall I sh I'll try and show you a little bit. Who was I going to play as? Who was I excited to play as? I can't remember now. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm going to play as one of the... I'll show you a bit of footage in a second, hang on. Oh yeah, Porter, that's it. I'm going to do Porter. And then... Oh, I've unlocked it! Okay, well I'm going to do... No, I won't do that one on camera. Let me show you a bit of... I'll show you a bit of Mad Forest, because I don't think... Let me show you a bit of this. I'll just show you what the game is. Basically, there's different characters, and basically, you collect these gems and get different upgrades and stuff. Um, and it's... Oh, I've got the guide on. Hang on. I don't normally have that on. There we go. Um... So, yeah, you collect these gems, which then gives you, like, weapons that you can grab. So in this one, I'm going to go for the knife in this instance. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really fun. It's literally, you only need what you, the reason I'm filming is because you only need one hand to even control it because all of the shooting is automatic. Um, and so, yeah, it's just an extremely fun game. And basically the whole point of it is finding out all the best different combos because when you get multiple weapons, if you get the right combination of weapons, you can like evolve them and upgrade them and they turn into something different and much more powerful. Uh, garlic is a good one because that gives you like a force field. Look, you can see I'm stinky now and like all these bats will just die when they walk into it. Um, so yeah, it's a really fun game, guys. Would definitely recommend it. It's, it's also on mobile and I think it's free on mobile as well. So yeah, no excuse not to really, unless you haven't got a phone, um, which yeah, people might not to be fair. So yeah. But yeah, thanks for, for continuing. Thanks for not switching off. This vlog has been absolutely mental. Welcome to Easter Sunday. So yeah, last night um, we got a bit Chinese. That was nice. I read my comic books and played some video games. We really didn't get up to much. Didn't even watch Beef on Netflix, which we're planning to do. Try and probably watch some of that today. Uh, plan now, I'm going to make the cake, which I think I mentioned I was doing. Or rather, I'm doing cupcakes. I'm doing cupcakes just because it'll be easier. Um, and yes. Uh, read my comic books. Do you know what? Enjoyed all of them, to be honest. The Amazing Spider-Man, like the core series, really, was very interesting. There was sort of like a reveal around something that they've been hinting at for the last 25 issues, which we've not really known the answer to, uh, which I actually was very satisfied if what they're hinting at is true. Very satisfied. And the other one was really cool with the introduction of Spider-Boy. That was, that was weird slash interesting, but actually I really liked what they did with Silk. And if you're not familiar with Silk, uh, Silk is basically, um, I believe she got bitten by the spider that bit Peter Parker, but she was bitten first. She was either bitten first or she was bitten second, but anyway, it, it was like immediately around the time that Peter was bitten. It was revealed about 10 or 15 years ago in the comics that actually there was someone else who was bitten at the same time as Peter. 
Um, so yeah, Destined, and there's she's involved in really good storylines and has got like spiritual connections to Peter and stuff. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, I'm now going to show you a bit of footage on this Easter, happy Easter Sunday. I'm now going to show you some footage of me making this basically. Let's go. Interesting, that's before February. Interesting. The seed plan right now is so the lettuce and the onion and the bell peppers. Um, the grass really good. Kids taking on my thing. Um, absolutely. And just to go on. Yankees off. fans first. Um, Are you okay with that or you'd be kind of disappointed? No, I'd be okay with that. For sure. It doesn't matter yeah, if they're a woman it. or a person of color. At this point, I'll take the whitest Brit you've got just so we have it. You should have the other Broadway. Korea has a lot of theater. I've heard that. Really? Me neither. And this will be my first time. Oh yeah, James in second. Big winner Will in third and big winner Jeff in fourth. I was just calling to see uh, how much do you guys... So I've uh, obviously made the cakes now, just need to ice them, which I'll do later. But I'm actually going to go live on Twitch right now and do some marble snapping. <laughs> I haven't filmed in ages. <sighs> yeah, so I finished the cupcakes. Uh, they're alright actually, I, I, to be honest guys, I think I preferred unice. Uh, I'm just going to do a spot of washing up and then play some video games. It's a few days later, it's Wednesday um, and yeah, didn't really film much from Sunday. Um, however, stuff did kick off on Monday, on Easter Monday. We went to a food festival, it was really cool. Um, however, the weather was absolutely crazy. So much so it actually got quite dangerous at the event. Um, with extremely high winds that were blowing marquees over um, and blowing like signs over and stuff um, so they actually closed the event early over it came over the tannoy I think it was a shock shock to everyone really including the vendors that they were closing the event due to high winds um, and the the risk to life basically the the danger the health and safety danger of it um, unfortunately we saw some stalls that were just completely knocked over with their food all over the floor it was actually really quite sad. Um, then, because of all the rain and the difficulties with mud, there was then people struggling to get out of the car park. So I, I filmed some footage. You've been seeing probably a little bit of, of it on screen now. But I filmed some footage. Uh, I got told off by one woman at, at one point for filming. Don't know what she was so upset about. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed these little clips from the food festival and Gossie being an absolute boss getting us out of there. Spoilers. Um, and yeah, cheers. You're just going to go straight. So, good speed. And then to left, I would. No, okay. That's literally where the black car got stuck down here. Ooh. Yeah, I'd maybe go left. left. Go left. Try and go left. Yeah. That's it. 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 Yeah. Keep going. That's it. Nice, gentle, gentle. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Going well. Yep. Yeah. Oh my God, we're smashing it. Fuck. 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 This is literally Colin McRae. I honestly, there is not a better driver oh. than me. Nearly! <laughs> oh, that is just flung mud. My hero. I am. I honestly, wow. this, this is. That if anyone is ever needed, mental. if anyone ever needed that sort of affirmation. No, obviously <laughs> this isn't making a vlog. No, I wouldn't have thought so. Not without some beeping, eh? Hey. If we ever needed acknowledgement that. There's only one driver. Numero uno. Oh, that's me. <laughs>